everybody it's me finally doing my um big cbv haul review and everything and i know that a lot of people have been really excited to see that and and stuff so yay i'm gonna go ahead and get it done for you guys today uh first of all um i mentioned on the um cbvau group page that um today is the debut video debut of my tattoo that I got on Thursday. So let me just show you guys that real quick. It is the Open Heart by Jane Seymour. And I absolutely love it. It's in the healing stages right now. So they said it'll probably take about two weeks and everything. So yay! Just wanted to share that with you guys. Alrighty. So let me flip you around and show you how everything is kind of like set up here. So I also posted this picture like just a few minutes ago, but um, this is what I am storing my candles in. Oops, this is for my tap out workout. You don't need to see that, but um, this is where I'm currently storing my candles in. I just bought this at Walmart. It was like 20 bucks, and um, the top right here. Here, let me take these candles out of the way, but um, this top part right here, these things I got at Walmart for like, I don't even remember. They weren't like more than 50 cents but this is where i keep all of the scent shots that i've melted already and i keep them separated with wax paper they're not really in any particular order i try to keep like all the fruity scents together and then i have my two perfume scents behind it i have all my coffee scents here in the front and then the back just some miscellaneous and these are ones that i have not melted whole ones of so there's just like little chunks or like mixes this is my mix of enchanted forest and rain which was my inspiration for the hunger games create a scent candle that i did which i'll show you here in a little bit but um there's that i just set those up there on the top so um set you back here all righty let's get started with some candle reviews and stuff Anyway, um, okay, the first one I'm going to review is um, Victoria had this thing on um, CBVAU where um, if you ordered on the specific day at by a certain time, then you get a free, four, um, I think it was a four ounce candle, little mini four ounce candle in either Chantilly Lace or Peanut Butter Delight. I already have the Peanut Butter Delight candle that I will show you, so I picked Chantilly Lace, and this is the little jar that it came in I've melted it plenty of times already but um I really really love how this smells it's very like floral but in a way perfumey and it smells really really good it burned nice and even at first it was I feel like my TV is super super loud anyway I have no Mio and Juliet on my TV but um it it um it took a little while before it melted to a full melt pool but um i had to leave it leave it lit for quite a while until it finally melted all the way around and then i um blew it out from the wick and then started all over again but ever since then it's been really really good so that's where i'm at on that i really love it the scent throw on this um let's see i had it in my i think i started out in my front room front room in my front room which is where I'm in right now it's a pretty big space and um, you could smell it when you know activity and stuff going walking by it and everything like that but other than that it didn't really just you know sit sitting and burning didn't really like fill the room up in my bedroom however it did when I had this melting in my bedroom one night um, it did fill up the room and it filled it up really really nicely so this is this little four ounce candle, you know, I would say would be better for smaller rooms instead of bigger rooms. But then again, depending on what scent you get, it might be like super, a super strong scent. And it could, this little thing could scent your whole, your whole like big room. So yeah, there's that. This next one, I absolutely love. This is my surprise candle, my CBV surprise candle that I got. And as you can see, I've already melted it. And this is the layer that it's at right now. The top layer I mentioned on CBVAU was my, um, was the Ray's Hot Cocoa Marshmallows. And I was so excited because 
right before that, I actually finished my actual Rice Hot Cocoa Marshmallow candle, and the mug is all cleaned out and ready for use, and I love it. Super excited. I'm so glad that you can use these, like, just once you're done with all your candles, you can just clean them out and use them for, like, anything you want. A lot of people said that they use their, like, these jars and stuff for, to hold, like, their makeup brushes and stuff like that, which is a really, really good idea. And, um, but yeah, it's really, really neat. And, uh, yeah, this second layer, um, I had, like, a third, this is actually technically the third layer that I'm on right now, this little, like, aqua color right here. Um, the second layer that was right underneath the Raised Hot Cocoa Marshmallow is a very, very, very thin yellow layer. And when it was melting, it mixed together with the Raised Hot Cocoa and Marshmallows, and it was, um, that layer was actually, you know, a pretty thick layer on the top, so it just kind of blended together and kind of muted out whatever that yellow layer was. So I have no idea what that was. But this layer right here, as soon as I smelled it for the first time, it's I right away got floral, a uh, floral smell, but I still couldn't pinpoint like exactly what kind of floral it was. But now that I keep smelling it, it really smells like butterfly kisses. So I'm really excited because I just bought a um, decorative cube candle in the uh, Butterfly Kisses. I'm super excited. I ordered that with the um, the uh, um, August 1st 20% off sale and I cannot wait to get it. Oh my god, I ordered so much. I had a list and everything of what I was going to get and I posted it on CBVAU and everything. And then when I actually went to order, uh, yeah. I set my alarm clock for 8 o'clock. I went to bed, set my alarm clock for 8 o'clock so that I could get up, place my order, and then after that, I went right back to bed. <laughs> but um, as I was placing my order, I ended up just adding things. Oops. But uh, So there's a few more things on there than what I posted on the CBVAU, on the CBVAU group uh, when I uh, showed my list. Uh, not a lot, just like a few extra scent shots and stuff like that. And I forgot a few things, which I'll make sure to add in my next order. But um, so yeah, and other than this, there's like underneath this, uh, what I think the Butterfly Kisses layer is, there's one really, really thin purple layer. I don't know if you can really tell, but there's a really, really thin purple layer there than this pink. And then there's a thicker purple and then this like kind of orangey brown color right down here. So can't wait to get this melting some more and figure out what else is in here. Okay. I always said that wasn't I wasn't gonna review my Create Ascent, um, or I wasn't gonna reveal my what my Create Ascent candle was until I actually made this video, but I couldn't help it. I was so excited. Everybody was talking about their Create Ascent and then the new scents that, you know, were released on the first were all create a sense and I was just so anxious and excited but this is the create a scent that I made and I got it in a love Victoria candle in the halo black oh I feel like you can't really see this let me move more into the light and then hopefully this will be a lot better here we go but um anyway this is my create a scent candle it is enchanted forest mixed with rain and I got this in the Love Victoria candle in the halo black glitter. I don't know if you could tell the glitters in here, but oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. The color of the candle is purple, and I named it the Hunger Games. To me, it's just when I was melting it, and like you could smell, when you smell it, I smell more of the Enchanted Forest than anything. But then again, like rain and Enchanted Forest to me have kind of like the same strength when it when it comes to their smells they're both very strong um and they have like kind of like that same um smell that makes it very very strong if that makes any sense but um uh very very like trees and you know you really think of like a forest just mainly when it comes to this and I just thought they went together so great and when I was thinking up the name just the Hunger Games is just the first thing that popped into my head because if you haven't seen the movie then I guess this is kind of a spoiler alert but um in the movie of the Hunger Games or if you read the books and you know the first book the um arena for the um for the Hunger Games was in a forest and everything like that so I just thought that it went perfectly and the smell goes with with you know the whole uh, theme Hunger Games theme and I figured that the halo black would go really really good with it considering because when you think about it it's it's a dark story you know they're going into these games with you know the 
ending result being just one person left and they all got to kill each other. So that's pretty dark and, and, and sadistic. So uh, I figured I would go with the black and everything. And because, you know, she's such a strong, like Katniss Everdeen's such a strong female like character and stuff. It's got the, the multicolored glitters in there. So that helps with it too. But, um, I just, I love the way that it turned out. It's absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Now, let me take you over here. We are going to deal with this bottom drawer. This bottom drawer, I kind of stuck with putting all of the um, really decorative candles in there. So let me pull this like all the way out here. So then as you can see, I have my um, bake shop candles in the back. I have three sweet treat candles and then I have two comfort candles. So let me get this all set up and then I'll go one by one here. <laughs> Alrighty, first I'll start off with the comfort candles. I've got banana coconut cha-cha right here and I leave I leave these plastic parts on while they're all stored together because I don't want the scents mixing together when I open up the drawer and everything. So that was just kind of why I did that. But um, this like right away, you smell bananas more than anything. I, um, I have yet to really smell a coconut like have a coconut scent by her so I'm really anxious to see what that smells like I'm sure once I start melting it and everything that I'll get more of the coconut out of there because I think that's what this whipped wax is right here that's the coconut and then these little embeds of bananas aren't they so cute see up here at the top and then it's got embeds of marshmallows all around it and everything and then sprinkles isn't that so pretty I love these and then all the way around in between the two layers here has like little crumbs of stuff in it. I'm sorry, I don't remember exactly what what this bottom layer ended up being. I don't remember if it was like like a like a pie crust kind of thing or not. But um, there's little images of bananas all around it too and everything. This is so cute. But I'm starting to uh, realize that I really, 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 really love her banana scents. So I think I'm gonna have to start buying some more of those. But yeah, I just put the plastic back on and everything and then I set it back in here. And these also came with a lid. Because I know that these never used to come with the lid. Um, this was, I don't remember exactly how, how far back that it was that, um, that she started um, sending lids with her comfort candles but I'm really really glad about that because not only can you use this as like a like once you're done with the candle and you wash it out not only can you use this as like a regular like food bowl or something but you can also use it as like a little container to put things you know to a uh, uh, Tupperware there we go use it for Tupperware so I just have this set I have it set in here with the the lid underneath it so next one is oh my god this is my favorite out of the two that I have Fruit Loop Explosion, and I remember the first review that I saw on this was um, actually L on here. Um, All that glitters, twenty one. She uh, she did a review on this and said that if somebody like if you blindfolded somebody and you put this underneath their nose, they would say, "Oh, it's a bowl of Fruit Loops," and that is no joke. Like when you smell this, it's just straight up Fruit Loops. Like it smells like you just portable Fruit Loops and you're just like, ah, so good. But anyway, um, it's got the little embeds of the little Fruit Loops and stuff and the wicks are in between it. I love that, how the wicks are set in between those little Fruit Loops. The little embeds of little gummies, little gummy bears in there and stuff. Those are so cute. And then it's got this part, the little Fruit Loops around the ends. You can also put this out around Christmas time since it's like, you know, green and red. That look really pretty. But um, little sparkles are on the top, and then this is like her uh, Fruit Loop scent, and I think the top part, the whipped wax, is also her Fruit Loop scent. But that looks so cute! I'm just amazed at how like how much work that Victoria puts into her candles. It's this is fantastic, absolutely fantastic. If you love the smell of Fruit Loops, then you should definitely get this candle. I'm pretty sure if you just set this out on your table, it'll just scent your whole room. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and leave that out because I'm going to need that. Alrighty, on to the uh, Sweet Treats candles. Um, I feel like this one, which is um, Hawaiian Colada, I feel like this one, if anybody's going to order 
a sweet treats candle I feel like the Hawaiian colada is like the first one that people go on ahead and order and this major blue part is um, tropical blast so tropical blast scent and this top part right here is pina colada with these little chunks of um, pineapples up here on the top and when you smell it you automatically smell the pina colada I figured that I was gonna smell the pineapples a lot more since it's such a strong smell but this pina colada smells so good. I'm going to have to give me like a scent shot and just pina colada. But this smells absolutely amazing. Um, won't know exactly what it would smell like with the tropical blast until like I get it melted and all put together. But I'll go ahead and do a little update on that. But I'm really, I really don't want to melt these because they're so pretty. They're just so nice. Then again, I mean, you can always just order more, right? <laughs> Next one is Pineapple Supreme and the bottom brown layer right here is um, Graham Cracker Crust and this yellow part is the pineapple, her pineapple scent and then she's got the little chunks of pineapple embeds in there with the cherry right here in the middle. Right away obviously you smell the pineapple more than anything and um, she's got little sugar sprinkles also on that and she had sugar um, blue sugar sprinkles on the top of the uh, Hawaiian Colada also. But um, I really can't wait. This, this is obviously, once you're burning it for the first time, this is obviously going to be major, majorly heavy on the pineapple. But um, I'm really, really excited for that. I absolutely love pineapple. And I can't wait to get these two layers mixed together and see how that smells. So I'm really anxious to, uh, to melt this one as well. And um, as I was placing this big order, I asked for um, opinions on really good um, fall scents but that weren't spicy smelling. I don't like spicy smells. I don't like like spicy apple. I just don't like it all. But um, spicy pumpkin, I can do a little bit. I can do a little bit of spicy pumpkin. I've noticed that I could tolerate the spicy pumpkin way more than the apple. But um, I really do prefer more of this sweet, desserty kind of pumpkin. So a lot of people mentioned the pumpkin cheesecake. And I knew that she had a pumpkin cheesecake. Like, you could get it in a scent shot. But I figured, you know, what the hell, why not just get it in the, um, in the sweet treats candle. Because look at this, that looks so cute. And that will be so pretty. Even if you don't want to melt it, you could just sit it out and everything. And I figured if it was going to be a little spicy, which some people mentioned, that it might have like a little bit of spice to it, but not too bad. Um, I figured that, you know, if I didn't really care for it, I could at least set it out and it'll scent the room anyway, but it won't be super, super heavy to where maybe I won't be able to stand it. But, um, when you smell it, it does smell like that spicy pumpkin, but it also smells like with a little bit of creaminess in there too. If you see, she's got like sprinkles all around this one also. Um, I'm pretty sure that all of this is actually just her pumpkin, uh, her pumpkin scent. I'm not quite sure. I tried to look it up and everything and I was able to get the um, description on the layers of the other two but for some reason my phone's being a doo -doo -doo, and it doesn't want to show me the video anymore. So, um, But the, the way I'm figuring out these layers if you wanted to check them out and find out the layers yourself on the Sweet Tree Candles, if you go on to her uh, website, click on candles, it's on page, let me look. The Sweet Tree Candles are on page 18, and she has a video right above all of the um, Sweet Tree Candles, and she goes through each and every one of them and what each layer is. So if you want to check them out, then that, that video is on there. So, But yeah, it's, it's a little bit of a spicy pumpkin, but but I could do this. This this smells really, really good, and I'm really excited to get this all like melted and everything, especially since like this season's coming up. and. October is coming up and I'm really excited everybody's getting all excited for fall scents and everything so I can't wait but um before I put these away I got a request to show the um to do a comparison on the size of a sweet tree candle to a comfort candle so let me go on ahead and get that set up that's why I left this uh Fruit Loops candle out so I was gonna use it as a little comparison, let me just take off these little things. Okay, so then here's the comfort candle, and then here is the sweet treat candles. I know that the sweet treat candles are um, 12 ounces, but I can't quite remember how many ounces the um, the comfort candle is. 
But um, there's like that. Obviously, you're gonna get a wider melting pool with your uh, with your comfort candle now, and everything. But to the bake shop candles. Okay. I know everybody's expecting me. Whoa, this thing just kind of ripped up on me. Oh well. Um, I know everybody's probably expecting me to do this one first, but no. I'm going to save Three Ring Circus for last. Well, not last, but after this one. This is Donut Shop. And honestly, I had no idea what this smelled like, but I didn't care. This looks adorable. Look at that. This is so cute. Got a little white donut there. I got some chocolate donuts hiding right there. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. The little sprinkles and everything. Um, I know that the, um, in the description it says cinnamon is in there. And that is definitely the only thing that I smell right now. I smell like cinnamon and a little bit of like a cakey kind of smell. So, um, but yeah, this is definitely really heavy on the cinnamon, which I'm, I'm not too crazy about because it's kind of like, I guess like spicy in a way, but um, cinnamon itself is pretty, pretty spicy and everything, but like it smells really good though. It's, it just, it, to me, it smells like a, a red hot um, gum and everything, but um, I can't remember exactly what the main part of this candle is, but okay. Now I'm back after I charged my camera for some more time since it died out on me. Of course, it died out the best part. Um, when I was getting ready to review Three Ring Circus. Alrighty. So, without even looking up on a video or anything, everybody talks about how incredible Three Ring Circus is. So, because of that, I know that this blue layer is blue sugar, um, I think it's like blue sugar cotton candy, or something like that it's blue sugar something mm -hmm. and then this whipped layer is the cotton candy layer and the peanuts are caramelized pralines and there's little a little peanut layer right in between both of those so um when i first smelled it i smelled the caramelized pralines first and i kind of like i expected it to smell the sweet of the cotton candy first so like once i smelled it, i was like <laughs> it kind of threw me off guard but um but now as I, as I smell it some more, I really just smell the, um, the cotton candy smell with just a little, little bit of the saltiness from the caramelized pralines. Not quite sure exactly how I feel about caramelized pralines yet. I haven't gotten a scent shot or anything or smelled it by itself. So I'm not quite sure. But in my new order, the order they got for um, the August 1st order, I did order a scent shot in Under the Big Top, which is all three of the scents put together. At least we get to smell, like if you want to buy this candle and you don't want to melt it, but you want to smell them all together, you can order under the big top. Um, I can't remember exactly which, um, what category that was under. I want to say it's under Customer Creations or um, Candleman's Closet, one of those. But um, it is in one of those, I think, one of those um, categories. But... I can see what the hype is about. This really smells fantastic. It's amazing. It really does remind you of a circus and everything. And this is so cute to just have like sitting out. Make you imagine like having this sitting out and somebody who knew nothing about candles or just seeing the usual boring candles that you buy at, you know, B and B W and L dot 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 and stuff. <laughs> um, then they come in and they see this. I mean Come on, that's just incredible. Anyway, so there was my three ring circus. I cannot wait to get um, under the big top so I can start melting that and see exactly what this baby's gonna smell like after it's been burning. So that is the whole um, bottom drawer of my candle organizer. And man, freaking TV. But anyway, um, yeah, that's the bottom drawer. So let me go on ahead and take you over here again and we're going to the middle drawer right here and this is where I keep just all of my regular candles with lids on them Ugh. and stuff so whenever I like finish with this one or I finish 
melting this one. I want to go to something else, then I'll just store those in here. Let's get and started everything. on those. I'll go ahead and get started with this one. Um, on the CBVAU group, Victoria had a contest. It was a picture contest, and you just um, post a picture of your CBV goodies and um, and uh, um, if you win, you know the best picture you win and um she was she was initially going to pick one one winner and you win a 16 ounce candle but she ended up picking three first place winners and four of the second place winners and the second place winners got an eight ounce candle so i was one of those and i will insert my picture here so you can see what that looks like so that was my picture and everything. I literally read it because like the way I wake up in the morning is I grab my phone and I look up like stuff on my phone. I check the CBVAU website or group page, which is really the only thing that I do <laughs> whenever I turn on my phone. So I do that and then I start to wake up. And as soon as I saw that she had that contest, I'm like, oh, so I hurried up and I got up and everything and brush my teeth and wash my face and everything didn't even put on any makeup anything like that I just got the thought in my head I'm like oh my god let me do this right now so then I just got that picture all together and then uh, posted it but um the scent that I chose in my free 8 ounce candle is blueberry flapjacks you can't really my camera's just not the best but yeah it's blueberry flapjacks and I have to say, at first, I smelled, you know, just straight up blueberry, and I wasn't really quite, like, I didn't really notice what, oops, I didn't really notice the, um, what the flapjacks part of it was, it just smelled straight up blueberry, but this has been curing for, um, I want to say, like, a week and a half to two weeks, maybe somewhere around there, and, um, I could definitely smell because this is blueberry cheesecake mixed with um, maple butter crunch and now I can smell more of like just not just the blueberry but I could smell like the the butteriness and the um and the little hint of the maple so it really really smells like a blueberry breakfast and I love this candle I haven't melted it yet so I don't know what the throw is on it but I oh I'm gonna have to melt this pretty soon because this smells delicious. Next one is um, the one that I mentioned I have uh, bought Reese's Peanut Butter Delight and it comes in this little uh, mason jar. And I bought this for Chris because his favorite uh, candy is Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. So it has these uh, little crumbs and stuff on the top. There's and like, it's all mixed together. Like this top part is mainly chocolate and then it looks like just the uh, peanut butter on the bottom and then it kind of fuses together here in the middle so once you melt it I'm sure that you'll be able to notice more of like them mingling together the perfect like combination of the peanut butter and the chocolate but mostly on the top I just smell the chocolate for right now on to the black label collection I have to say I was pleasantly surprised about this collection because um, I know I mentioned in the other video that I was watching Jason's review on them and uh, he was like dead on when it comes to these so I will go on ahead and start off with two of the like cologne type scents um, I bought Godfather which I just I did his idea and I got like metallic uh, markers and I labeled the top you know just like what the name is on the bottom and this I don't really I'm not really excited about I don't really care too much for it I mainly bought um, this and uh, my next one's tuxedo. I mainly bought these two for uh, Chris because I wanted to have like some kind of manly smell, something that he would he would like to burn and smell, you know, throughout the day or walking, excuse me, walking through the apartment. But um, this definitely does smell like an old man's, like old man's kind of cologne, like a like if you were to walk into it, it reminds me. If you were to walk into some like major rich guy's mansion and everything like this would be what it smells like <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense whatsoever but that's what it reminds me of it just makes me think like I'm walking into some rich guy's huge mansion and th and this is just what it smells like like a old grandpa kind of potpourri mixed with potpourri smell so that to me is a uh, godfather tuxedo right here um 
this is my favorite out of the two man smells. This one smells like a really nice cologne that something like that Chris would wear. But um smells definitely like a younger cologne than what the Godfather would be. Old man's mansion. So. Next one I have is 007. I was really excited to get this one because everybody said that this is like a really like sensual, relaxing spa smell. And it really is, oh my gosh, this is just, you want to melt this in your bathroom while you're taking a nice bubble bath, have the lights off, just the candle on, and oh my god, this is fantastic. It smells like, like a little perfumey with some florally kind of smells along with like really aromatherapy smell. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I want to melt this and take a bath right now. Very, very, very dead on when it comes to like, you know, a spa scent. Something that you would like to just relax to. So 007 is definitely a gift. You need to buy that. Next one is these next two, probably one of the most um, talked about in the, um, in the Black Label collection. This one's Singapore Sling. This has been compared to a lemon poppy seed muffin. And you definitely smell the lemon and the cakeness to it. So when it when it comes to like, yeah, I love bakery scents and everything, but I like more of the sweeter sugary kind of bakey bakery smell rather than the cakey bakery smell. So this isn't really my favorite when it comes to it, but it's definitely like second. So um but yeah, it, you could really smell the lemon and the cake mixed in it. So I could definitely see where people would say like a lemon poppy seed muffin. But uh, but yeah, definitely a cakey lemon smell on this one. My favorite from the Black Label collection is actually Salty Dog. I love this scent. Oh my God. It does smell like straight up juicy fruit gum. And this is the most amazing smell ever. Like, just a perfect mix. Like, if you were to have, you know how when you were in school and everybody always asked for gum, you always smelled juicy fruit. Whenever somebody had the juicy fruit gum, you knew, like, what it was and, like, which direction it was. <laughs> like, you knew who had it. Like, ooh, somebody has juicy fruit. Give me a piece. <laughs> but... That's exactly what, what Salty Dog smells like, and it is fantastic. Oh my gosh, this is hands down my favorite Black Label candle scent ever. I love this, it's just, there's no other way to describe it. It's just Juicy Fruit Gum. And so if you like Juicy Fruit Gum and you like smelling it and everything, definitely get this, get this candle, get Salty Dog. It is incredible. Oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I love how awesome it is. Okay. So that was it for that. Almost done. All we have are scent shots left. Woohoo! So um, I know you saw these up here, the, my already melted ones and everything. I haven't melted any of the new ones that I bought, but in this top drawer, I have like an extra one in here. And I also have this um, plain one so that if I were to remelt one, uh, one of these scent shots, I can take this label off and set it on just place it on here while that is melting until I'm finished so I just set that in there in this extra one that I have also this is I don't know if I mentioned this is wax paper that is um, in between all of them once I, I had them stacked together and I didn't have anything really separating it and when I would smell one of uh, the one of the scent shots it actually smelled like what was underneath it or what was on top of it. So that's why I decided to uh, start separating them. But, okay. I arranged these in alphabetical order. So, this first one is one of my new ones. Let me uh, just set you up right here. Um, this one was one of my free scent shots. I had um, this whole thing is uh, two orders put together. So, my uh, one scent shot is Banana Kiwi and... Dear goodness, oh, this is my favorite freaking fruity scent in the world, in the world, oh my gosh, and I, I, you know, I love fruity smells and everything, I have a good amount in here, but 
Oh my gosh, this is a perfect blend of the banana and the kiwi put together. And it's just like the extreme juiciness and fruitiness of the pineapple mixed with that kiwi smell. It just, I don't know what it does to it, but it is just amazing. Oh my God. What, as soon as like after I smelled this for the first time, I automatically knew I was get, oh, gonna get like the biggest candle I could in banana kiwi. So I ordered the uh, 22 ounce terrine during the sale in banana kiwi and I got it in the aqua, the halo aqua marine glitter. So I'm really excited for that to, for that to come in. But um, definitely, definitely get this. If you love fruity scents, you have to get this banana kiwi. It is amazing, it's so amazing. But yeah, hands down my favorite fruity scent right now. So, sorry, I have these like in the alphabetical order so I need to figure out where the ones are that are my new ones. Um, I ordered Love Potion number nine because anybody who has had Love Potion number nine, they have absolutely loved it. I haven't heard any bad reviews on this one. So I wanted to try it out and it smells really, really good. Like kind of in the same vein as the 007 with the whole like spa kind of scents really soothing and sensual and I know this comes in a massage or a, yeah a, a, a massage oil kind of candle thing melt in like a little gravy saucer thing and um, and this smells really really good it's um like aromatherapy but it's mixed with like fruity like I don't know if it's like a grape kind of smell or I don't know, some kind of fruity mixed with like maybe like one or two, like some florals, like just a little bit of everything mixed together. The fruitiness, the floralness, the aromatherapy, relaxation, all that kind of stuff put into one. So I'm really, really glad that I got this in a scent shot and I really, um, I'm really excited to actually melt this. So speaking of melting that, hang on. Um, Helen from CBB, the CBB Addicts Unite page not only did she send me a scent shot of butt naked, but I also just got in the mail today these little silicone um, uh, molds that um, a lot of people like to melt their tarts in. And the one that I have, I got the ones from Walmart, and they're really, really cheapy and, like, I don't know. They're just, see how these, like, there's the middle part and then this part spreads out? Well, the ones that I got from from Walmart, it's a lot taller than this. They're like about that tall, but it goes straight up. So when I melted a scent shot in there, it didn't really throw it at all. And I knew that it wasn't the scent shot or the, the scent itself that didn't have a strong throw. I, I knew it was because of what it was in. So she actually sent me these little, um, these little silicone molds and says that it actually fits like a half of a scent shot perfectly. So. Um, I'm definitely going to try this tonight, and I'm um, probably going to melt uh, Love Potion number nine. So um, it came with two of them. Thank you, Helen. Um, so yeah, there are those. And my next one that I got is Pumpkin Chocolate, which is another one that people uh, mentioned as a suggestion for a non-spicy, sweet kind of pumpkin smell. And uh, I do smell spicy pumpkin in it, but it's not bad. And I don't really... I don't really get, there's more chocolate here on the bottom. This obviously needs to cure a little bit for it to, to really come together, but definitely hands down, I smell the, the pumpkin a lot more. So I'm going to let that cure and see how much better that will be. Next one is uh, my free scent shot that was in my second order, and this is uh, Raspberry Sherbet. And definitely strong on the raspberry like really I just smell raspberry I was thinking if it was like raspberry sherbet I would it would smell more like a like the sherbet kind of ice cream but really you just smell like just the straight raspberry fruit in it but it smells really really good down at the bottom it actually smells kind of creamier like a creamier raspberry than it does at the top just like this straight up raspberry smell but definitely going to let this cure for a while and see, come back to that and see okay, how that so goes. this last chunk of um, scent shots is actually all seven of, from the, of the scents from the Club Diva collection. If you don't know which one that is, it's the um, 
the collection that is based off of really strong like female singers and the names of the scents is actually one of their song titles so um, I had a really really hard time a tough time like trying to describe these so I went on ahead and brought up the fragrance list that she's got and um, I'll read those to you as well so the first one I'm going to show you is bound to you which is uh, Kelly Clarkson and this is it it smells it really smells like a female lotion that's automatically what I think of really nice girly smelling a uh, girly smell so on um, the website describes um, because of you as fresh citrus and hints of wild cherry intertwined with fresh ozone notes to accent the floral heart of this fragrance tropical lang lang balance with the central jasmine and hints of rose um, hints of rose to form a rich floral accord which is surrounded with green leafy accents cashmere musk undertones are sweetened with vanilla amber to create a dramatic finish for this fragrance so this is loaded with um, different scents um, I could smell like the little musky smell um, mostly mostly I smell the um, like floral mixed with the um, that tropical smell in the jasmine but um you get a little hint of like the citrus and fruity flavors or scents flavors scents that's in there and everything but like I said it smells like a, a really really pretty female lotion so that one is because of you this is bound to you which is Christina Aguilera and I absolutely flip and love that song this um, smells really really good it smells really sweet sweet and womanly so I love that it says this is fresh mandarin balances with hints of apple peel to open this feminine fragrance jasmine violet and lily form a floral accord that balances with woodland fern and hints of berry at the heart of this scent sensual blend of cashmere musk golden amber and vanilla bean creates a romantic sweetness and I really smell the berries in here so it's definitely like a really berry perfumey scent but um, I really, really love that. It's a very sophisticated berry smell when it comes to uh, Bound to You. So I definitely really, really love that one. Express Yourself, I am not crazy about. This is off of Madonna. It, it smells kind of spicy and spicy potpourri to me. I don't really care for it. On the website, it says uh, Hollywood Glamour Attitude. Spicy notes with hints of fruit lead to the luxurious floral signature a blooming rose accord balances with hints of lily while patchouli warms the floral tones precious amber warm woody notes and soft musky vanilla surround the bouquet paparazzi style um i get the uh the spicy spiciness the amber and the woody smell and then the musky smell with it this is definitely my least favorite of the Club Diva collection. Not a bad smell if you're into, into stuff like that, but I don't know. It's just, I'm not too crazy about Express Yourself. Put a Ring on It is um, for Beyonce. And I really, really like this. This um, Put a Ring on It actually reminds me of Herbal Essences. Like the Herbal Essence Shampoo. It smells really really good and actually this is Chris's favorite when um, I had Chris smell all of these scent shots he uh, he definitely like he said that put a ring on it was his favorite um, it says uh, a seductive sexy blend with base notes of white and dark chocolate it smells almost edible other notes include violet fresh jasmine musk blackberries vanilla and just a hint of fresh green top notes you get the muskiness you can really smell like like in all these it kind of smell like that perfumey kind of of the musk that's in it so you could definitely smell that in all in all of these really all of these fragrances um, and you could smell the violet and jasmine that's in it uh, the white and dark chocolate I don't really smell anything of that in there so either it needs like once it cures you're gonna smell that more or as soon as you melt it you'll smell that so a lot so more it's a floral musk for me for put a ring on it rolling in the deep now this kind of is put in the same category for me as a um, laundry smells like the the laundry room smell it smells very fresh fresh and clean very very nice smell for that 
so yeah like I said it just it reminds me of the laundry room a very fresh clean smell that you would get in dryer sheets it says um, a sensual floral accord of African violets and lily of the valley complemented by slight hints of kiwi lime and grapefruit now I don't smell really any fruits besides lime I could get the lime out of this but uh, mostly I smell the um, the florals in it so very limey floral laundry clean laundry kind of type smell that smells really really good not my favorite but it smells really really good womanizer now I love this one very oh very fruity womanly smell absolutely love this it describes this as um, a blend of refreshing ocean notes, peach and pineapple with cool cucumbers and stem green notes. Now I could definitely smell the cucumber in here. Cucumber mixed with the fruit, that's that's what kind of like, you know how like a fruity, the fruity smells have that obviously like strong fruit, clean fruit smell. And the cucumber, it's kind of like, kind of smooth, smooths it out. So it smells like kind of a lotion-y kind of, um, or a kind of a lotion, a lotion-y fruity smell, but it smells absolutely fantastic. Womanizer is definitely my favorite. So, just a really great fruity smell, creamy fruity smell for for Womanizer. And you and I, which is for Lady Gaga, I don't know if I mentioned Womanizer, Britney Spears, um, but yeah, you and I, uh, which is off of Lady Gaga, definitely smells very complex, like the woman herself definitely tell that there's like a, a, a few things in here um you and i says amazingly complex and energizing begins with top notes of grapefruit lemon mandarin and green tomato leaf followed by middle notes of jasmine and dry base notes of eucalyptus and woods now you can smell the woodsiness in here and then uh i think it's the eucalyptus that i smell not too much of the of the jasmine in it, but it does say that's the middle note. So maybe like once you melt it, you'll smell more of it. But like the um, the lemon, the lemon mixed with the woodsy smells is is the main main thing that I get from here. It's really nice smell. I don't think I would. I don't think I would order it for myself in a bigger candle other than a scent shot. It's nice to kind of throw in there for something different if you're if you're used to like a certain kind of smell like say you have mainly a bakery make, mainly bakery scents makey makely mainly bakery scents or mainly fruity scents or something this would be nice to kind of pop in there just for like a change a change of scent century chain of scent change of century <laughs> but it, it is a really nice smell it just it's not it's not really my cup of tea. But um, I definitely like this better than the Express Yourself for um, Madonna. That one I don't really... No. It smells like an old lady. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that is finally the end. I can't tell you how many parts I had to do this in because my camera kept dying on me. But um, that is all of my new stuff that I have for you guys. Um, don't forget to comment if you have any questions. Don't forget to check out the CBV Addicts Unite page on Facebook. If you have a Facebook page, you need to be added onto it if you love CBV. I'm telling you, it is incredible. So um, yeah, don't forget to check out that website. Don't forget to comment if you have any questions. And uh, don't forget to check out my other videos and subscribe. Thanks guys, bye. I'm like waving all the way up here, really. You're not up there, hi. Uh, and then I say hi instead of bye. Um, I need to just work out and get out of the house. <laughs> okay, bye guys. <laughs>